Hey Eric, this is Greg over here at Toyota of Renton. Hey, I'm just, uh, instead of uh, taking pictures of an interior and uh, showing you the exterior of a SR5 Premium black with the uh, black uh, Softex interior, I actually have a certified pre-owned here in stock. Same color, same features, same options. And uh, I'll shoot a quick little video uh, so you can see what it uh, looks like. Of course, uh, the new one will be a little bit brighter and a little bit shinier. Here's the engine compartment. Uh, the Toyota 4Runner still uses the 4-liter V6. Uh, it's a tried and true engine. Uh, you know, this rig will uh, tow 5,000 pounds. It's a body on frame construction as well. And uh, in uh, SUVs of this class, it's the only SUV left uh, on a body on frame construction. All the other SUVs in its size have gone to a, a unibody construction. Uh, the beautiful thing with the uh, seven rung ladder frame uh, that this uh, Forerunner sits on is the uh, ability to gain articulation when you're going off road. Uh, the unibody just doesn't flex uh, like the uh, like the ladder frame system will. So here's the rear cargo bin. This SR5 Premium has the third row seat. Uh, as you can see, it sets flat into the floor. I'll remove some of these uh, floor mats here, just move them over to the side. And then uh, to pull up the third row, it's extremely easy. You just pull this lever right here, lift it up, pull it back, and uh, the seat pops up. All you gotta do is flip the headrest up like that. To access the third row, very simple on the passenger side, uh, just grab this handle right here, the seat folds forward and then automatically slides forward. And then once you raise the back of the seat cushion up, all you got to do is run up uh, here, grab the seat bottom cushion and just pull it up. And then uh, there's your third row seat. Of course, I didn't fold both sides up. I just fold, uh, lifted up the uh, passenger side just as uh, an example so you can see the room. The other nice thing I like about this uh, is the second row seat here. Once you uh, put it right back up, it clicks into spot. This uh, seat works on a track system, so you could delegate the leg room. Uh, so you, if you have adults or larger uh, children sitting in the back, uh, you can uh, increase their leg room in the third row seat by splitting the difference in the middle row. And of course, there's a bar just like a manual uh, front passenger seat to where you can slide the seat front and back. So if you, if you need more leg room, you need less leg room, uh, it's got you covered. In addition, the uh, middle armrest, uh, of course, folds down. You have your cup holders right there. Or if you need to uh, access or use your Forerunner, uh, maybe you're going to the hardware store, picking up some lumber, maybe you're going up to the mountains and uh, you're going skiing or snowboarding in the winter season. Well, all you gotta do is fold that middle portion down all the way, and then you have a nice pass through for longer materials. Rear air controls, including dual USB port in the back. Here's the front passenger side, front door panel. I like how the window switches are up high. Kind of gives you an extra armrest, a little bit higher to rest your arm while you're driving if you don't like using the lower one. Power passenger seat. This is the soft tech seating material. Uh, this is a uh, man-made leather-like surfacing. It's made out of plants, believe it or not. It doesn't wear down or crack like regular leather will over time. And uh, it's biodegradable or more uh, so biodegradable than regular leather if it ever meets a landfill. Front driver's seat interior, front door panel, multi-way power adjustable driver's seat with lumbar. Of course, you have your uh, power mirrors, dashboard dimmer lights, auto high beam feature. This right here is a heated front uh, windshield or windshield wiper de-icer. There's a thin thin line that goes to the bottom of the windshield there. So in the wintertime or if you're up at the ski slopes or the mountains and you're 
out of the car and the windshield freezes up, you could hit this button and it will actually work like a rear window uh, defroster or de-icer and it will start the meltdown process. So you won't rip your wiper blades uh, trying to clear all the uh, ice and sleet and snow off of the uh, windshield. Of course, I love the uh, new upgraded touch screen heated seats and uh, this right here is uh, a very a very special button this right here will roll the entire uh, back window down and uh, I'll show you how that works in just a minute here So here we are in the driver's seat of the 4Runner SR5 Premium, showing you the steering wheel and the steering wheel controls. Hey, okay, this right up front here, uh, that's your uh, multi-information display screen. And uh, it's pretty impressive. It's all L LCD or... You have a directional pad right here where you could change a lot of the readouts on your multi-information display screen. You could have uh, the digital speedometer if you choose. Uh, you can have a sway warning indicator. There's also an uh, eco indicator to let you know when you're driving efficiently, your average fuel economy. Of course, uh, this one has just been shuffled around the lot, the shop, the detail department, so the uh, fuel economy is all skewed. But you can reset it just by pressing the center button there. More fuel economy readouts. Tire pressure indicators, it's really nice to, uh, that you can have it uh, shown just right there on the uh, information display screen. Of course, you have your proper in tire inflation placard in the uh, driver door jam. Digital compass, you can have your music show up here. Uh, lane keep assist and cruise control. Any messages like it's time for an oil change, maintenance due, low tire pressure, running out of fuel, those kind of things and then all your uh, safety system settings. Uh, you could turn them on and off right there. So in addition, you also have a uh, uh, dynamic radar cruise control. You have a lane departure assist button right there. And then on the left side is your uh, stereo controls, your volume controls, station uh, seat track. You can uh, turn on your stereo just from right here. You can mute it. You can go through AM, FM, XM, Bluetooth, and then answer and uh, hang up your uh, phone right there your calls this right right here in the corner this is your voice activation button uh, so it works very similar to Siri or Alexa you just press that give the forerunner a command to call or go someplace and it will uh, take you right there your uh, multi-information display this one comes equipped with the navigation system the integrated navigation you could have it show up all right there you can cater your home button uh, to where you could have it uh, three parts. You could have your stereo, you could have your phone, your contacts, and then your maps. If you want to just go to straight maps, you can just touch the screen, and there you go. Digital compass right up top. Of course, right down below is uh, your four-wheel drive unit. Uh, this is a part-time four-wheel drive system. Uh, so it is a rear wheel drive SUV until you gauge it into four high. Uh, Toyota says you could uh, shift it into four high just about any time. You just need to slow down below 60 miles an hour. But once you're engaged, uh, you should be able to uh, continue speed and uh, drive as fast as you need to. Of course, for your four wheel drive low, you still want to put your transmission into neutral and then uh, turn, push down and turn all the way to four low. Now, getting back to this button right here, this is how you roll that back window down. This is an iconic feature for Toyota and uh, something I hope they never do away with. But just hit the button, rolls all the way down, and then goes all the way back up. All auto one touch. Of course, with the uh, power moonroof as well, um, this one, uh, very simple. You have your uh, controls just right up here. So you can either tilt it, as you can see, or you could slide the whole thing back just by hitting the button right next to it. Furthermore, 
Uh, you do have your home link right up top there, so you could program three remote devices, garage door, gated entry. I used to work with a guy who uh, had his Christmas lights on a remote control, and when he uh, turned the corner to the street, he would hit uh, the number three button and his Christmas lights would come on. Uh, right here, this is uh, your uh, downhill assist, your A-track, and then of course your um, traction control and vehicle stability control. You also have uh, your safety connect, that's an emergency, uh, Toyota's emergency response system. Sunglass holder. Of course, digital auto dimming rear view mirror. That was the SR5 Premium 4Runner. Of course, again, this was a certified or is a certified 2021 model, but the new 2023, exact same features. Everything will be exactly the same on your new rig. Hey, uh, feel free and give me a call back. Uh, shoot me an email or just uh, you know send me a text and let me know what you think and if you want to move forward with securing your new uh, SR5 Premium 4Runner.